Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all keeping well and welcome to my Gibraltar Premier Division 2017-28 season predictions video. Now this is just for a bit of fun guys, I have very limited knowledge of the Gibraltar Premier League um, but I thought let's just give it a go and see how close I can get to the end of season standings. Uh, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. First of all for me this season relegation candidates are Manchester 62. Now apologies to all Manchester 62 fans out there but I've just seen a few players leaving the club. I haven't seen much in the moments of ins. I know that one player have gone to my club, the Bruno Magpies and another to the FC Olympia, Olympique. And yeah, as I mentioned, not much in the way it ends. Had a tough season last season. And I just think this season might be a little bit too much for your club to just maintain their status in the top division and unfortunately other teams go down. Next up, we have Gibraltar Phoenix, the team that went up from the second division last season. Um, again, not really, you know, they've brought a few players in, but nothing of the calibre I think will help them keep them up in this season. So I think they'll be in that relegation playoff. Can they keep their their place in the in the Premier League next season only time will tell. Next we have Gibraltar United. Now this is a club who've got one of my favourite players in the name of Brad Power. But um, again, I've just seen a few players leave their club. I know that one went to St. Joseph's FC. Um, and just again, not much movement that I've seen. It might have happened on the inside. So just, I just think it's going to be a really tough season for them this year and not really making any headway in the in the transfer window, it just seems that like it might struggle and possibly fritter towards the end of the season with the lack of depth in their squad. And um, I don't think they'll get relegated, but they're just going to be just above it and uh, hopefully it will spend another season in the Premier Division. We then move on to the team that I can't pronounce, Mons Kaupel. I don't know how you pronounce it and I do apologise for any fans of that there. Um, a mid-season club. Uh, I think they've, you know, they've, they've got enough about them to kind of maybe push on, but I just can't really see them. They're never really a team that ever wows me. When I watch back Gibraltar football in the highlights, they're never a team that kind of, they all seem like a really good, solid team, but nothing about them ever kind of makes me think this is going to be a season for them when they just push on that next bit further. So I think that's the biggest thing for them, is just going that next step. But for me, this season, unfortunately, isn't that season for them. Next up, we have Gibraltar Lions. I just think their squad is a little bit more capable for just pushing them out a little bit um, more further than the Mons Kapul. I'm so I am so sorry, guys. I just think they've just got a little bit more depth to their, their team from what I've seen and from you know the numbers that they've got. Don't really know much too much about them, so I do apologise. But I've, I've, I'm putting them in sixth. We then have Lynx, um, a club which have been now thereabouts for the past few seasons. I can't see this being a season that they kind of push on and just, you know, get to that next stage. But I think they'll have a decent season and they could cause a fair few upsets along the way. And this is a team that I think potentially could throw all of my predictions out of the window, out of any of the clubs that are there. I apologise once more, but Glacius United, I again, probably murdered it. Uh, this is the club that I've seen probably maybe, I think, do the most in the transfer window. They seem to have brought in uh, a fair number of players. Um, I know they've brought in a few from Mons. I'm not going to try and pronounce your name again. I've seen that I think there's about three or two or three that have come in from there. And I just think that out of any clubs, this could be the club that kind of maybe could venture into that top two. But just again, I think this is probably another season two too early for them but it'd just be interesting to see how they fare throughout the season now next up might be a, one that shocks a lot of people but i've got you i've got europa finishing in third obviously the massive loss of liam walker in the um off season uh, they have tried to shunt them and they've, they've brought in a fair number of players um i know they've brought in one from canterbury city and um, they've brought in one from a few of the spanish teams like lucia i think one was called uh los Bar barros i believe another one and they have, they have tried to shunt them um, with the you know the departure of such a big player, but for me, I think last season they did um, tremendously well. Obviously, beating Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Red Imps to the title, breaking their I think run of what seven or eight years on the trot, which was quite pleasing for a lot of Gibraltarian fans out there, especially the, the neutrals. But was it one season wonders? Well, hopefully they'll prove me wrong. But for me, I think they're going to finish third this season. Okay, in second position, to much of your dismay, I think it's going to be St. Jovis FC. Again, a team that have lost a fair few players, actually, 
uh, in this transfer window. I did see that there's quite a few players, I think they've released a few on, on freeze. Uh, and I know some of the, the lower league Spanish um, tiers have, uh, have come in. But again, I've seen a few players come in on a free transfer. One I think came in from uh, Gibraltar United as well. And yeah, I just think that they've got, from what I've seen in the activity, um, and they impressed me quite a lot last season from the highlights that I've seen throughout the year, that this club is the, the club that possibly potentially could disrupt that kind of potentially, you know, formidable force of, of Lincoln Red Imps in the next few, if not next season. Um, which obviously just goes to, to say that in first spot and the champions once more, uh, Lincoln Red Imps. Obviously, one of the biggest clubs that, that there are out there now, really, in, in Gibraltarian football. Uh, again, they've, they've, they've strengthened in numbers. Uh, a few of the fringe players were let go. They've bought in. Um, again, well, uh, they've, they've just they've got such an array of 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 you know the of talent really there. They've, it almost seems like they've always got like you know two, if not three, players for each position, uh, and I think that's just kind of a massive. Uh, plus for them obviously the fact that they've been champions for for quite some time it just means that they can you know they've got the the kind of power i suppose to bring in the, the players if you know if somebody does want to come into Gibraltarian football and a player like uh, lincoln red imps comes in for you that's it's quite hard for them to turn down um even though there might not be options available it just it's just quite hard and i think i don't think they've got the biggest squad i think actually Gibraltar. Uh, sorry, Glass Glacius have got the, the biggest squad. Uh, maybe the Gibraltar United, I'm not too sure on that one. Um, obviously, in terms of wage structure, they don't actually pay, from what I believe, reportedly, they don't even pay the most in wages. So it just goes to show that the fact that, you know, the credentials of possibly what draws people to the club. Hopefully, I am proven prove wrong. I mean, this could be completely wrong and you probably could, could walk it. Um, I just can't see it. Leon Walker is going to be a massive loss for them. I know they've brought players in. And they had good players, and it wasn't just all about Liam Walker last season. Um, but I just see this, unfortunately, going back to setting precedents of, of Lincoln Red Imps once more. Um, hopefully, there'll be a few upsets along the way. I said I think Lynx are going to be the club that, for me, potentially could cause the biggest upset. And I could, again, I could be completely wrong with this, but it'll be interesting to see how close a complete going in from pretty much completely blind in this one, how close my prediction is at the end of the season. So if you guys have got any thoughts on this, please leave your predictions down below in the comment section. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to show your support by dropping a like on it. I have been just Mike Plays, and I'll speak to you legends soon.